is continuing to mount at the results center in Lusaka, Zambia. This is the announcement of Thursday's presidential election results continues to drag on. Opposition leader Akainde Ichilema blasted the National Election Commission for slow progress in releasing the results from this week's presidential vote. Despite incidents of violence in the run-up to the elections, observers have been giving the process so far the thumbs up. Opposition leader Kainde Ichilema has had enough of the slow pace of vote counting. He walked into the results center in Lusaka and demanded to speak to the commission's chairman over the matter. He says the slow counting pace may lead to results being rigged. Latest results, however, show President Edgar Lungu is in the lead. And uh, Zambia's uh, main opposition leader, Hakainde Ichelema, and the Patriotic Front Secretary General, David Chama, both say the Electoral Commission of Zambia is delaying the counting process. We have a, a situation where our PVT shows that uh, basically this thing is decided and they are delaying to allow uh, the ruling party to create fictitious figures. That's what's going on. So they're creating tension. The EC is is creating tension in the nation. We are all concerned. I think it has been uh, engineered by the UPND, who are demanding so many things, uh, putting a lot of roadblocks into the verification process. Uh, the ones who demanded that uh, documents must be verified because they are suspecting uh, foul play, which is not there. So this is it for to be open and transparent. We have allowed political parties to be part of the verification process. And our correspondent in Lusaka, Zambia, Shingai Nyoka, Elias Pok, to the Forum for Democracy and Development Party leader, Edith Nawakwi. We are not happy. When we were doing a pre-election consultation with the Electoral Commission, we did insist that uh, they should transmit results directly from the polling stations. They do have that capacity. And if you go to the back room, some of the results they are getting, they are from polling stations. But uh, they, there is an introduction of manual work in between. This is the manual work which we are all concerned. And uh, the only true record of the proceedings at any polling station a form called G12. And yesterday when you saw tempers flaring around, we were told that some polling stations had not received this form. I raised concern, we all raised concern. Up to this moment we haven't got a report on whether some of those polling stations where the original proceedings, the primary record of what happened uh, can be traced. Some of those forms are not available. We've also picked up information that some polling stations, the figures have changed. And I think that uh, this particular electoral commission in the last 20 years, its performance is dismal and I think that uh, they should take responsibility for the tempers that are flaring around. I think that they've let us down and we are not happy. I personally, this is the first time that I've taken issue with the Electoral Commission. But the observer missions, about nine of them, held press briefings yesterday in which essentially they declared that this election was free, it was fair, it was credible, um, in spite of some of the challenges that the, that the Electoral Commission faced. What is your reaction to that uh, decision? I heard about that, that uh, at the time they were holding the press conference, the Electoral Commission was announcing results, so I was in this hall. So immediately I went to where they were holding a press briefing, and I said to them, listen, you are too hasty in issuing your verdict on this election. They confessed that they were referring to the pre-election environment. They were still watching the counting process. I have very little confidence in them resolving these uh, issues. I think that it is very clear that uh, the system is against those of us who, whose votes we believe. I believe that my votes are being moved from my tally to some other candidates because in the case of Kaputa, 256 at the polling station, a record is given of 196. Who has benefited? I don't want to mention names. It was happening even in the other election. Last year, I think two days ago, I did say in this hall and said that in, in Mongu, they moved my votes. I had 103 at one polling station, they recorded three. So it is obvious that there's movement. So they will not be able to resolve. But what I expect to come out of this election is that we should move away from the manual system to an electronic system, to transferring votes directly from the polling station to the head office, at least, at least for the presidential vote.